Hi everyone, welcome to my urban homestead. We're doing the pond dig, and hubby is doing a hard job. How deep is that, honey? How deep is it now? Three feet. Three feet? Maybe. Oh. Okay, guys, we're almost done with the pond dig. Hubby's just leveling it out. It's roughly three feet, about up to your waist, right, hon? Yeah. And we're getting ready to put that metal <coughs> and that tote inside it. Uh, we got this tote at a, uh, what you call it? It's like a company. IBC tote. IBC tote. We got those ones over there for five bucks a piece. It's a pretty good deal. If you guys can find one at your, that's near you, they're great for using as water barrels for a, and a pond. So, let's start getting the thing, hun. You ready? Yeah. Project number two. Two, two, two. Okay guys, we finally put the thing, what you call it, like a metal thingy around it. Now, next step is, third step is the, well, first step, <laughs> the first step, look for a location, second step, dig a hole, third step, get your tote, fourth step, clean up that tote. What's the plan, honey? Put a hole in it? Yeah. Need to put a hole on top and rinse it up and clean it. Then put water in it and then place it inside this bad boy. The reason why we are keeping that metal thing is because during winter, like everyone knows, water expands. And when it expands, you need a place, like a frame to hold it in so it doesn't, you know what I mean, like expand. <laughs> it goes sideways you want it to remain upright and yeah soon we'll be able to fish in our own yard right maybe <laughs> okay so up to the next project hi guys we're making a hole in it now the idea is we're going to cut it and then hide this top and put it back during winter time. Take it away, on. to rinse it out real good. Yeah, time to rinse it up. Yay, this looks like. Thank goodness there's no snake in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like snake. Me and snake don't go well together. Nope. Okay, time to wash it. And keep that bad boy. Hey guys, hubby is now setting up the pond, making good use of that. That's a recycled uh, 
swimming pool stuff. It's there. Somebody threw it away. <laughs> so, he saved it from the dump. So what you doing now, honey? Uh, trying to decide whether we're going to do aquaponics or just a plain old filter. It's hot out here, huh? Okay. Look at this, guys. That way it put some water in here. This bad girl keeps buzzing me wherever I go. <laughs> There's so many of them. It's like an entire generation in my yard. <laughs> I ended up getting a pre-pump uh, filter just in case we have babies. Mm -hmm. They don't get sucked into the pump. At least that's my idea. Okay, we'll keep you updated on one what he has finally decided to do. Right, Zoe? Yeah, she found the spot. Okay. We are filling up with water, right? It's filled. It's filled? That's all I want to do with you. Oh, look at that. I would put a rock on that filter box so it kept floating. So what's next? Cycle it. Yeah, put some uh, uh, deep, deep floor in there, water safe stuff, mm -hmm. they put some water safe stuff in there for the food. Gotta have some really spoiled fish. I don't know about that. <laughs> so you're gonna put the sand around it? Yeah. Our freezing point here where we are is around 3 feet. And this one is around 4 or 5. So we don't need to get the fish out from winter time. We're just going to cover this up during winter and we'll protect them from the freezing weather. This That's the plan. Yeah. This is below freezing point. So the fish will be safe and we have a lot of fish. So yeah.